Hop inside an Audi, then I did the dash. dash. Shorty know I only care about the cash. cash. Big dance, big sticks, big rash. She asked me how I got it, said I got a like. DC Gang back with a little man. Hey. So we're in an R5 today. Today I'm actually back going to the shop. First day at the shop. So I'm going to Legacy Barber Studios. He's going to mentor me, train me, and stuff like that. So it's going to be a good experience. I'm not sure how much I will actually film there, but I got my bag ready. He said, you got to bring all the fancy stuff. You got to bring all the stuff. I want to make sure when I go there, right, I want to make sure I don't be like, dang, I should drop that. Let's go. Grab my stuff. I almost forgot my watch. Grab my stuff. I'll be like, hey, what don't I need? Because I got pretty much everything that I'm going to need. So... <laughs> I got my hair dryer, all that stuff. I don't want to go there and not and be like, man, I should have brought this. Well, they just bring it. So, we know our pod today. Got like, my new little setup right here. That. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, let's go hang up before I be late. It's only 15 minutes away, but if I leave right now, I get there about 10 minutes early. So, if you're in a more a different scenario, like if you actually worked at a shop because I'm getting training, I will actually be there like even earlier. But since I'm not the one with the key and I gotta wait for him to get there, I'm gonna just make sure I'm there like about 10, 10, 15 minutes early. So let's go ahead and get it.
And that's all the same. It's, it's not the same. It achieves different results. And I, and I know you hear me clicking all the time, right? Well, I click because when, when, when the blade stops, it flicks the hair off. When the, when the black man, it's like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a moving car. If you if it stop, you fly. So it helps to, it helps keep the blades clean. So all you, now all you gotta do is this. Boom, boom. It's clean. Pull all the hair. It's not a nervous. It's not a nervous. It's not a nervous tick. It's, 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 but also it's a psychological thing too. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a very psychological thing. Another battery. I just didn't bring another battery with me. We was gonna do a shoot tomorrow. I mean, we can still do the shoot tomorrow. I, 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 it's on you. Like, let me know. So I'm okay. I can... I'm okay with it. Well, okay, I can put this. Got what you in here too? Wait, hold on. Well, what kind of what kind of background do you want? Uh, it it don't matter. Like, to just as normal and human as possible. I'd say. Okay. Human meaning like. I got all my background. Like the I, truest, I got... the truest. Cause I, I like raw. At this point, like so, we had to, we had the point where it's like raw, because I, like, cause I, I, everything's always so curated, pictures and videos and shit, and all the stuff that we do, that I would like people to know, like okay, this is the truest sense of you know, of the experience and the vibe, barber wise. Like I said, all I need to know is like what color you want. Everything, like this, the only thing you gotta worry about is just coming there. All you gotta worry about is showing up. It was like, I want this kind of background. Even if you want two different kind of backgrounds, mm -hmm. just let me know what color. Because the first thing I got to do, I, obviously I, I got to spray, well, you know this whole process, but I got to spray it down with, uh, it's a mist, like in a spray bottle, but I missed it, but with hot water. Oh. And it knocks the wrinkles out. Okay, yeah. So, so whatever color that. you want first, just let me know so I can just, it's already ready. But by the time you come here, you can just walk in, boom. I got alcohol, so you don't worry about that. But just let me know what color you want first. So I can already have okay, it. Okay, so you you already I'm pretty sure you already get the gist of what's going on in there, right? Yeah. So it was supposed to be me, you, my uh, my wife, and her, and that's it. My other uh, like so my social media manager is in New York, so of course she wasn't gonna make it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop this way. Yo. I'm gonna turn some light on, cause I'm looking a little crazy right now. All right, so. This camera is heavy, so I ain't gonna be in here too long. I ain't gonna lie, it's like holding a brick. Or about five bricks in my hand, you know what I'm saying? But, sit down. So my first experience at a barbershop, 
it was cool. Like, I ain't gonna lie. It wasn't a bad experience. It was pretty cool. Like, my whole, my whole thing of being at this barbershop is to gain experience of how it is to cut in the barbershop, learn some new uh, services and things like that. And, yeah, like, I pretty much, for me, for my first day, I feel like I had a good day. Even though I only had two clients and one of them was mine and he was trying to come tomorrow. I was like, hey, come today because I'm at the barbershop. That's my first day here. Just come through or whatever. He came through, so I appreciate him. And I had a walk-in. And my walk-in enjoyed his cut a lot. He actually got my number so I can cut him again next time he needs a cut. And I'm not a grimy dude. So next time, oh, snap. Next time I cut his hair, I'm only going to cut this dude at Legacy because that's where I met him at. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna cut him at the barbershop because that's where I met him at. I'm not gonna bring him here to my studio because I just feel like that's just like really janky on me. Me and the uh, Master Barber at Legacy Lamont have, you know, we got our thing going on or whatever. And I feel like it'd just be like really unprofessional of me and really janky of me to bring him, to bring my clients to that game there, here. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like that's messed up. You met me there, so I'm gonna cut you there. Until I'm not an apostle no more. That's what it is. You feel me? But even just this one day, I've learned just many things. So I just want to. I just want to thank Lamont for giving me the opportunity to train me and mentor me into a better barber while I'm still here in the apostle. So I just want to just give a special thanks and shout out to him for giving me and blessing me with this opportunity because I really want to take Bobber into a different level within myself. I don't, I'm not just that dude that wants to just do like an average like uh, next, uh, next 30 minute cuts. Like that's not me bro. Like you sit in my chair, you're here for 45 to an hour. I'll top. You know what I'm saying? I just want to thank him and as far as my first day was good, I really wish that I could have got some ending, uh, ending like commentary from him. For one, my battery was dying. For two, I didn't bring another battery. For three, yeah, I just got lost in our conversation because we be, he likes to talk and I like to talk. So that's just, <laughs> that's what that went, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But next time, I'm going to get some commentary from him. But one thing that he did give me today was, he did give me this, uh, this barber pencil. So this is different from the uh, magic barber pencil that I use. So I'm gonna actually start using it on my clients and see how that goes. And I got a lot of information from him within this first day. Like I only cut two people, but I got a lot of information from him. So yeah, that that's the most important thing because I can get if I really want to cut somebody outside my outside my home studio, it's just like or if I really want to cut somebody outside my home studio, I could I could be promoted more than what I am and stuff like that. But it's just like. You're not gonna get that type of knowledge as you will from a master barber. Like, bro, come on now. Like, that's like, you're inviting me into your shop to to, to get mentored. I can cut there. You're gonna teach me things, teach me different. It's like a whole bunch of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just it's a overall better opportunity for me than to just be like, oh, I got thirty dollars for this cut today. Like, that's not that thirty dollars gonna be gone. I think that shit could be gone to the same day compared to somebody that's gonna teach me something that's gonna last me a lifetime. So I just want to thank Lamont personally for that and yeah just welcome me in into the uh the barber shop and yeah you guys are gonna see a lot more barber videos from there so let me know if you guys like the videos and so i just feel like it's a, it's a big opportunity for me i'm really growing from here like and it's crazy because it feel like it feels like everything's moving so fast but i feel like i'm in the lane that i'm supposed to be in you feel me like when you get in a certain lane and things are just moving i feel like you in the lane that you're in i started barbering a few months before i got deployed April of 2020, I got deployed in August of 2020. I started charging people in tw in, J in July of 2020, and then all of August throughout until I left March in 2021, I was cutting hair. And now I'm in a barber shop. And what is it? May of 2021. And like I said, I got my own barber studio here. You guys, you guys seen the video, so I got my own barber studio here. My first day in the barber shop, but this is my home barber studio. You know what I'm saying? So just like a lot of things are moving like really, 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 really fast, and I feel like this is exactly where I need to be right now, like in the barber industry. I feel like this is exactly where I need to be. So I just want to really thank my mom for giving me the opportunity to just go and just shadow him and just learn things. I don't care how small it is, just learn anything from this man you feel me like i just really really appreciate that because nobody would never give me a chance like this i don't feel like or i don't say nobody 
Because a lot of people in the world. But not a lot of not a lot of people will give me this opportunity that he gave me right now. So I really, really thank him for that. And I don't know. He probably doesn't understand how much this means to me, but it means a lot to me. Like it means more than I can explain. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, learning this stuff and probably the average vibrating. I know because I like it's not like it's how can I say this? I have a nine to five job. So it's not like it's just like you know, it's, it's a difference for me, so it's just like, I can make money in the army if I really want to, but this is what I want to do, you know what I'm saying, like, this is the field that I want to be in, so to like, it's not like about the money, it's about the knowledge that I'm getting, and not a lot of people can understand that, but the real ones who do, they do, you know what I'm saying, but, if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying, if you don't, then you don't understand where I'm coming from, man, I'm not going to try to explain, but, anyways, Thank y'all for watching this video. If you watched it all the way through, I really appreciate you, man. For real, for real. Please leave a thumbs up on this video. I know I don't say that. At least on this video, nigga, leave a thumbs up. Dang. Leave a thumbs up on this video. Let me know what you guys thought. Just leave a comment below and I'll reply to it. And I really got much to say. I finally, I finally, finally went to the cinnamon roll place. What's it called? Cinnaholic. I went to Cinnaholic and I finally got me some cinnamon rolls and I heard these is bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and just devour those. But yeah, until then, I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all already know the vibes. I'm gonna end this off right. DC. Dang, back with another one, man. I'll see y'all next episode. Deuces.